Alright, welcome back to the first match. We found an opponent. Gonna be on the draw. Have a pretty good hand. Going to keep this and see how it's going. Got a pretty good curve. Fetch land to go with the GOP and the Rallyer for some heavy hitting on turn 3. It's pretty nice. Might have to delay the size of our cuddle a bit. But that is gonna be worth it. If we draw another white land or fetch land, then we can just attack for three next turn already, which would be nice. Also, since drawing land is not bad with scape shift in hand already. Three more lands and or renegade rallyers and you can just scape shift the opponent out. In fact, I see. Could we have a pass? I'm almost inclined to just not attack. Since we're probably gonna have to block, and I don't really want to block with Geopede. So yeah, I think I'll just play Geopede and offer a trade with the Nakadal. And then hit hard with GOP next turn. And also we're gonna have pass back up thanks to Rallya, which is pretty nice. Just gonna have to hope that he has no way of making his guy unblockable. Alright, block draw a pump spell or trade. I'll take that. That's fine. Apply the agent, I guess. Yep. As expected. And now we can go ahead and fetch. Basic planes. We even have the choice to get back Nakadal actually. Which is nice, but not good enough. We need the white for pass. And also it's gonna deal more damage with GOP, which is also pretty good. Um, like I think I'm gonna just go ahead and fetch here already, flock myself, deal maximum damage, and next turn we can potentially kill him with scape shift if he has no blocker and he doesn't get to kill us this turn. Unfortunately he didn't fetch end of turn, like if he fetches we can just kill the agent, but he's not stupid enough to do that, plus there's no reason for him to fetch. Um, that's okay. Now we just have to hope that he doesn't have another pump spell plus protection or double protection. And then we're fine. Seems like he doesn't have anything to try and kill us. Or does he? That would be lethal, and he probably has the protection, so... Yep. They always have it. Applied at agent, so annoying. But yeah, I mean... 
nothing we could have done differently. Gonna bring in some more removal. Spelt kite. The Casalis. And maybe even Ghost Quarter against Nexus. Not sure. Like we're pretty sure we don't want Scape Shift in this matchup. Battle Rage seems pretty good actually. Knight might be a bit slow. I think we can shave the knights just because it's slow and we can just pressure him with our landfall guys. Actually, we can just cut the Valakuts, which is actually a pretty good idea. And the question now is do we want Ghost Quarter or not? I am inclined to like some Ghost Quarters. Probably two. And maybe shave like a knight. And obviously one obvious interaction that I forgot to mention in the deck tech is knight getting to fetch ghost quarter makes ghost quarter also really good. Um maybe shave a goif. Since we care more about interacting. Guess we could shave like a regular land. Like basic mountain probably. Maybe keep the knight because it can fetch ghost quarter. Yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. Might be wrong to not bring in the th third ghost quarter, but I'm not quite sure what I would want to cut for it. And we now have quite a bunch of stuff, so should be all right. Gonna play first. Have a pretty decent hand. Lots of removal. That's great. And the cardle into th as a three-three thanks to basic planes. And then we can just aggressively <coughs> pass whatever the opponent drops on us, especially Blighted Agent. Opponent's taking his time. Alright, our opponent decided to mulligan to 6. Not gonna complain about that. Certainly gonna make the job of running him out of threats with my 3 pass to exile a lot easier. And he's cried on top. So he found a good card. Alright. Oh sweet, another Nakadle so we can keep pass open and apply some more pressure. The other good option would have been a fetch land to turn on the rallier. see what he's got. I mean, would be a bit surprised if we lose this game with double Nakadal backed by a triple pass against the money into six. But yeah, affinity, uh, in fact, is definitely one of the uh, less exciting matchups for this deck, I would assume. Since we are kind of slow, have like too slow to race them, slower than them, and have quite limited interaction, so gonna attack and maybe even run out earlier just as a three two to pressure him. 
seems pretty solid actually since we don't need to pass right now we can double pass next turn so just getting some pressure going to finish this game seems good because he can draw out the game a bit by using his Hyrax to jump block so adding another 3 power attacker should get him dead in like 2-3 to three turns So our opponent disconnected, I'm gonna pause till he's back. Alright, our opponent is back and played a Blighted Agent on his turn. So I think I'm just gonna aggressively pass it here. If he has a removal we can just pass again, uh, a protection spell we can just pass again. If he doesn't we can drop Goyf. wonder what he's thinking about. I mean, if he has a protection spell, he has to save it. If he doesn't, it's done. It's definitely the best guy to protect and his time is running out, so maybe he's just distracted or has connection issues still. Yep, yeah, he has a protection spell. Trying to turn it into a good blocker. Then we get a 2 for 2 and get him to 3, so he basically has to double jump lock next turn to not die. And we still have a pass, so we can... If he doesn't have another blocker, we can just pass a Hyrax to kill him. This game is going much better than the first one. Blighted Agent with one removal is usually the kind of games that everybody loses to infect. Alright, so here's a Nexus. Let's see what else he has. Probably either way not enough to win the game, even though he might not lose it next turn. We'll see that. I'm also not gonna aggressively pass because, for example, if he has another uh, Vines, even if he wouldn't play Nexus here, if I pass a Noble Hierarch, he can Vines, turn it into a 4-5 and then eat one of our attackers, making us unable to attack and we wouldn't have a removal for a potential infect creature left, so I would just be greedy to try and end the game a turn earlier. Ah, he's setting up a Distortion Strike for his Nexus next turn, I see. So he has enough mana next turn to potentially try and kill us. Interesting. I guess bolting him is the quick and easy way. <laughs> thing and I guess explosives could be an option to like kill his high rocks but it has some tension with our one drops and chain to the rocks or with our two drops so not that excited about it but maybe we can just like cut another land probably the forest because we just don't really care about our life total much so having stomping ground is better and yeah I think that's fine <laughs> not sure if I would want to cut another goif instead especially because we don't want a million lands either it's a pretty good hand once again one potent attacker and ways to interact with infect exactly what we want in this matchup Alright, let's see if we can manage to 
repeat last game. Not sure if I wanna bolt the hierarch actually, but given that we don't have anything to do in one, I probably do it just to. Oh, now that we drew in a cuddle, probably just not gonna do it and keep the bolts for his infect creatures. Sometimes bolting Hyra can be really beneficial, but I think it's just safer to keep them. I think like if we would only have one bolt it might be better to bolt the hierarch to just slow them down because it's like kind of unlikely that the single bolt is gonna get to kill any infect creature ever, especially with hierarch out because they have enough mana to like play it and protect it. So it's probably better to just bolt the hierarch then. But if we have a bunch of removal that we can like respond to his protection spells then it's just better to ignore the hierarch probably, especially if we draw a one drop. Alright, so we get to bolt the blighted agent. And then bolt it again. Also, the fact that we have path makes uh, bolting the hierarch worse because we're gonna give them an extra land anyway. Alright. Let's get some damage in. Nope. Can't pay. Don't care to pay. And then we have some lands left to make the GOP hit for a sizable amount and pass to potentially get another infect dude. We'll see. Good old Geobeat. Been a long time since I last played that card. But yeah, this deck might be good enough for Geopede to see a resurgence. Alright, so what we're gonna do here again, I think it's just bolt this guy. And I need to pass it or GP. We're probably gonna have to pass it, like we should at least have a pump spell to protect it. And we have to pass it. He's probably just thinking what he wants to use to protect it. Metagenic Rose, I assume. If he does that. So we just pass it and probably hold on to our lands for GP. We get a couple more triggers. And keep bashing in with Nakadal and now he should be out of threats. Which is usually usually the goal against the infect to just try and kill everything they have. And drawing four removal does a pretty good job at that. <laughs> but that's exactly what we need in this matchup. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Let's just hope he doesn't draw into like a blighted agent or a nexus. Disconnect it again. Gonna pause. Our opponent is back. Patched end of turn to thin his deck, I guess. Oh no, to get Dryad Arbor to start beating us for three. I see. That's fair. I 
got to be a bit careful with things like this if you're lower to not get cheated out. He's probably thinking whether he wants to attack or not. And it seems like he decided to get in for three. That race is currently going in our favor, which is fine. Alright, gonna take three. I mean, there's like a small chance that we just die if he has become immense plus another pump spell. <laughs> He has become immense, we just die. Seems like he does. Wow. No, no, we go to one. That's okay, though. One is definitely better than zero. And means... We have to be a bit careful. And also our landfall you, uh, creatures just got a lot worse. This is gonna be an interesting game now, I guess. Putting us to one wasn't the worst plan in the world. Um. Gonna trigger. Gonna get infantry. This guy. Probably should have attacked with Nakadal as well. Because Nakadal can't block, that was pretty bad. Because now he can attack and force us to lose Staplings. And we just wasted three damage, which we kind of need pretty urgently. Plus, getting him low um, makes stuff like dismember a dead draw next turn, which is also not irrelevant. So, yeah. Then again, having bows is good against blessing, but he also seems to run distortion strike where doesn't matter. I think all in all we should have attacked. It would have definitely been better. You basically just need to draw removal. Ghost quarter would be just fine. And yeah, now we can't even threaten lethal, which is awkward. So I guess we just don't attack, which is bad against the pump spell, but we'll see. But yeah, if he was at 5 there, that would definitely be better. Yep, and now we are in trouble. Uh, now we have to lose our Geopede, since we can't even double block effectively. This is so awkward. And Rallyer is kind of a bad draw now, because we can't activate it. 
Putting us to one was pretty smart. And we keep flooding out without drawing the lands that we want to draw. Ghost Quarter. Like, I mean, I don't mind drawing land here if it is Ghost Quarter. But nope, it's one of the other 20 lands that don't do anything. Now we basically need to draw something like a Goy for a Knight, which would have also been pretty good. But not that great, because he probably has pump spells by now. Then again, probably not, because he, if he had, he would attack with the Hierarchs as well. Wonder what he's holding. He has a pump spell. And we're dead. So sad. Yep. I mean, it's kind of interesting for him, because if we have a removal on the Hierarch that he can't stop, like a path, then he loses his Arbor and his Hierarch, and we suddenly are in a winning position. But yeah. he is going for it, and we don't have anything. So we lost this one. But yeah, that was a pretty close one. Nice showing. Interesting option for matchups like these could also be like some seal of fire in the sideboard, but that's probably a bit too narrow because it's kind of a low impact sideboard card for this type of deck. Alright, that was the first match. See you in a moment with the second match.